students myself mehul kodia from lg institutes of engineering and technology so in last session we discussed some numerical based on flywheel in punching press and in today's session we have to discuss some numerical based on turning moment diagram clear as you all know there is three equation for the maximum fluctuation of energy that is delta e is equal to i omega omega 1 minus omega 2 delta e is equal to i omega square cs And delta E is equal to two ECS. Based on this equation, we have to solve one more numerical based on the turning moment diagram. Okay. So in this numerical, uh, we uh, there is one equation is given for the uh, main resisting torque line. Clear? So we have to use uh, this equation for find out the value of delta E. The turning moment curve for engine is represented by the equation. So equation of the turning moment that is T is equal to twenty thousand plus nine five double zero sine two theta minus five seven zero zero cos two theta newton into meter. Now torque is given in the form of one equation. Clear? Where theta is the angle moved by the crank from inner dead center. If the resisting torque is constant, if resisting torque is constant means value of the resisting torque is constant and uh, resisting torque will you indicate the equation in the form of y axis clear and the you have to find out the value of power developed by the engine first of all you have to power and you all know what is the uh, meaning of power energy required per second or energy supplied per second second thing you have to calculate that is moment of inertia of flywheel and you all know what is moment of inertia that is capital i and equation of capital i that is mk square clear in kg into meter square if total fluctuation of speed is not exceed 1 percentage of mean speed indirectly this value is given for the coefficient of fluctuation of speed because the equation of the coefficient of fluctuation of speed that is n1 minus n2 upon n clear so the value of cs that is 1 percentage means 0.01 and third one the angular acceleration of the flywheel when the crank has turned through 45 degree from inner dead center clear when crank position at theta is equal to 45 degree at that time we have to find out the value of angular acceleration and what is angular acceleration that is alpha you have to calculate the value of alpha based on the equation of torque that is torque is equal to i alpha clear for find out the value of alpha you have to calculate value of torque and moment of inertia clear so you have to calculate three thing in this example first one power second one moment of inertia and third one angular acceleration we have to calculate one by one clear so first one first of all we have to uh, list out the given data on this numerical that is one equation for the turning moment that is t is equal to 20000 plus 9500 sin 2 theta minus 5700 cos 2 theta newton into meter second speed is given that is 180 rpm third based on speed you can calculate value of omega omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60 clear sir so 2 pi into 180 by 60 is equal to 18.85 radian per second Since the total fluctuation of speed is one percentage of mean speed, therefore coefficient of fluctuation of speed that is C S is equal to omega one minus omega two upon omega is equal to one percentage. Now you can calculate one percentage in simple form that is zero point zero one. Now first of all power developed by engine. We know that work done per revolution. Clear work done per revolution is equal to area under the curve. Now the Turning moment diagram is a torque versus crank angle. So you have to multiply the value of torque and crank angle. That is T into d theta. So you have to calculate or you have to uh, integrate the equation of torque at the duration zero to two pi. So we know that the work done per revolution, that is area under the curve, is represented by integration zero to two pi T into d theta. Clear? Now you have to put the value of T over here. Is equal to integrate zero to two pi twenty thousand plus nine five zero zero sine two theta minus five seven zero zero cos two theta. Now for the simplify this equation, 
you have to know that what is the integration of any constant value clear suppose you can you have to integrate the value of any constant suppose 1 then integration of 1 that is integration 1 dx that means integration of 1 that is x clear so in this equation uh, we have one constant value that is 20000 and we have to integrate this equation with respect to angle d theta so integration of 20000 that is 20000 theta and you have to put the upper limit and lower limit Again, one more term in this equation that is sin 2 theta. So, what is the integration of sin 2 theta? That is minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 because you have to put the value of uh, differentiation of 2 theta in denominator of this value. So, integration of sin 2 theta is equal to minus cos 2 theta by 2. You already learned this thing. Clear? And what is the integration of cos 2 theta? That is sin 2 theta upon 2. Clear? So, you have to put this value over here so 20000 theta minus 9500 cos 2 theta upon 2 minus 5700 sin 2 theta upon 2 and put the upper limit and lower limit 0 to 2 pi now first of all put the limit 2 pi and subtract and the lower limit clear and you can calculate the value of that that is 20000 into 2 pi is equal to 40,005 newton into meter Clear? So, work done per revolution that is 40,000 pi. Clear? And unit of that that is Newton into meter. Now, mean resisting torque of engine. Now, what is the uh, work done? Work done is equal to area under the curve or work done is equal to T mean into theta. You know this equation. So, work done is equal to T mean into theta. So, T mean is equal to work done upon theta. So, work done upon 2 pi. So, put the value of work done over here that is 40,000 upon 2 pi. Clear? Work done per revolution that is 40,000 pi upon 2 pi. So, so, if you simplify this equation, then the value of T mean that is 20,000 Newton into meter. This is the value of mean resisting torque. Clear? And mean resisting torque indicate the horizontal line. Equation of, suppose equation of the horizontal line that is y is equal to 5. This is the equation for the horizontal line. In this case, instead of y axis, we have to use a, a turning moment t. So, equation of the horizontal line that is t mean is equal to 20,000 Newton into meter. We know that power developed by the engine, as you all know, what is the equation of power? Power is equal to 2 pi mv by 60. Here, based on this equation, you can calculate the power developed by the engine. Put the value over here. Clear power is equal to 2 pi mv by 60. One more equation of power that is T into omega. Clear? Instead of omega, you can put 2 pi n by 60. Clear? And calculate the value of power that is 377 kilo watt. Clear? So, this is the value of the power. Now, second thing, we have to calculate the moment of inertia of flywheel that is capital I. For find out value of capital I, you have to calculate value of delta I because equation of delta I that is I omega square Cs. So, if we have, if you have to calculate value of I, so you have to calculate, first you have to calculate value of delta E. Now, we have one equation of the turning moment diagram in this sine wave and second equation is T mean, mean resisting torque line, that is a straight line. So, if we have to calculate value of theta at intersection point, clear? In sine wave, there is one positive loop is there, one negative loop is there, but maximum work done we got, uh, we got in the positive loop. Clear? Because fly will gain some power in only in positive loop. So, you have to uh, uh, compare these two equations. One equation for the turning moment and second equation for the mean resisting torque line. And intersection point from this uh, diagram, you see that that is two intersection point capital B and capital D. So, we have to calculate the value of intersection point based on these two equations. So, compare these two equations, T is equal to T mean, clear? So, 20,000 plus 9500 sin 2 theta minus 5700 cos 2 theta is equal to 20,000. Now, if you simplify this equation, then 9500 sin 2 theta is equal to 5700 cos 2 theta now, based on this equation, you have to calculate value of 10 to theta. Clear? So, 10 to theta is equal to sin to theta upon cos to theta. 
is equal to 5700 upon 9.00 is equal to 0 0.6 now using inverse you can calculate value of the theta so 2 theta is equal to 31 degree so based on that theta is equal to 15.5 degree now duration of cycle is 180 degree 90 degree for the positive loop and 90 degree for the negative loop clear so first intersection point at 15.5 degree now duration of cycle is 90 degree for the positive loop so for the find out second intersection point you have to add 90 degree in the in this value clear so angle at theta b is equal to 15.5 degree but angle value of angle at point d that is 90 plus 15.5 that is 105.5 clear now you have to calculate value of delta e and maximum fluctuation of energy uh, generated at the positive loop clear so maximum value of uh, maximum uh, value of energy that is delta e only indicate the positive loop and the duration of this positive loop is from theta b to theta d clear so we have to calculate that, that area okay now maximum fluctuation of energy delta e is equal to integrate theta b to theta d t minus t mean into d theta here we have to calculate we have to calculate energy only for the positive loop clear so we have to subtract the area for the mean resisting torque line clear put the value of t and t mean over here and uh, value of theta b and theta d over here so 15.5 into 10 105.5 in bracket 20000 plus 9500 sin to theta minus 5700 cos to theta minus 20000 d theta now you have to integrate this equation, put the upper limit and lower limit and find out the value of delta E. Clear? So uh, integrate uh, 9500 sin 2 theta that is 9500 cos 2 theta divided by 2 but in the negative. Clear? Minus 5700 sin 2 theta upon 2. Put the upper limit and lower limit and find the value of delta E that is 11078 newton into meter so value of delta e that is 11078 newton into meter now based on that you can calculate value of capital i we know that maximum fluctuation of energy delta e is equal to i omega square cs clear so based on this put the value of omega in cs over here we have to calculate value of i put the value of omega 18.85 and put the value of cs that is 0.01 so in this equation there is only one unknown is there that is capital I. Calculate the value of capital I that is 3121 kg into meter square. Clear? This is the value of moment of inertia of the flyweight. Clear? I. I is equal to mk square and value of I that is 3121 kg into meter square. Okay. Now we have to calculate angular acceleration of the flywheel at angle theta is equal to 45 degree. Clear? Alpha indicate angular acceleration of the flywheel. Theta indicate angle turned by the crank from inner dead center at 45 degree. So T axis is equal to T minus T mean. That indicate the and we have to calculate this T axis at particular angle that is 45 degree. Clear? So put the value of T and T mean over here and put the value of uh, theta is equal to 45 degree in this equation and you find out the equation for the T axis clear or value of the T axis because we have to calculate angular acceleration at angle theta is equal to 45 degree. So we are uh, equation of the T is 20,000 plus 9500 sin 2 theta minus 5700 cos 2 theta minus 20,000 and put the value theta is equal to 45 degree in this equation and this equation now if you put the value of cos 45 now what is the value of sin 90 1 and what is the value of cos 90 that is 0 so uh, 5700 cos 2 theta is equal to 0 and 9500 sin 2 theta means 9500 sin 90 that is the value of 9500 newton into meter this is the value of t excess clear now we have to use the value of this torque for find out angular acceleration now you all know what is the equation of a torque uh, that is torque is equal to i alpha now we have to find out alpha based on this equation now we have value of torque and we have the value of i so 
we also know that excess torque is equal to I alpha. Now I is equal value of I that is 3 1 2 1. Alpha is one unknown term. Put the value of torque over here. So alpha is equal to 9500 upon 3 1 2 1. So that is the value of 3.00 uh, radian per second square. So value of alpha that is 3.044 radian per second square. So in this numerical we calculate three value. First one that is power, second one that is moment of inertia and third one that is angular acceleration at particular angle alpha is equal to 45 degree. Clear? So and for uh, solve this numerical you have to use some basic fundamental of mathematics, some basic fundamental of integration and differentiation. Clear? You already learned all these three. Clear? So in next topic we will uh, start one uh, new chapter that is gyroscope.